Stamp fabrication. Make up PDMS in a 10 to 1 mass ratio of silicon base to curing agent by weighing it in a large weigh boat on a digital scale. Thoroughly stir the mixture until it is filled with bubbles. Then, place the mixture into a vacuum chamber and degas under vacuum for 15 minutes or until all bubbles have disappeared. Dip a plastic ring into the degassed PDMS to just wet the bottom and apply it with proper positioning onto the silicon master pattern. Fill the ring with PDMS and return the assembly to the vacuum chamber to degas for one hour. Top the ring up with PDMS. Apply a clean glass slide as the backing to the stamp. Be sure not to incorporate any air bubbles. Final positioning adjustments can be made at this time. Cure the assembly overnight on a flat surface. Once cured, carefully peel the excess PDMS from the wafer. Remove the stamp and be careful not to scratch the patterned area on the wafer. Using a razor blade, cut the PDMS around the ring to release the stamp. Apply pressure to peel the ring from the glass slide backing. Push the stamp out of the ring. Remember to leave the pattern surface of the stamp untouched. Grid fabrication. Pipette and spread approximately 50 microliters of 1% form bar solution onto a glass line that has been cleaned with ethanol and wiped dry with a Kim wipe. Spread over a circular area equivalent to the stamp surface. Using the hand press, apply 0.5 to 1 pound of force for about 1 minute. Make sure to apply the stamp immediately after spreading the form bar on the glass as the solvent will start evaporating right away. Dab away any excess plastic solution with filter paper. Ensure the glass slide is secured while releasing the stamp to minimize smudging of the pattern. Inspect the full area of the form bar pattern using a light microscope. Check for pattern smudging or irregularities. Holes should be uniform and distinct across the majority of the pattern as seen there. If the pattern film is good, score the edges of the patterned area. Breathe onto the glass slide and float the film onto the surface of water in a glass crystallization dish. Repeat this whole process as necessary until there are enough high quality form bar films on the water surface. Place copper rhodium mesh grids, copper side up, onto the floating films. Be sure to use only very flat grids. Nine grids can fit comfortably on one film. Adhere a large piece of parafilm backing paper using double sided tape to the back of a glass petri dish. Dip down into the crystallization dish and pick up all the films and grids at once. Once the sample is dry, place the glass petri dish with the grids in the oven and bake at 120 degrees for about one hour to perforate pseudo holes. Quickly evaporate carbon directly onto the setup with the grids. Carefully rinse the grids with chloroform in a fume hood one to three times until the grids easily come off the parafilm backing paper.
Transfer the grids to a clean glass petri dish with a new filter paper. Then wash the grids more thoroughly with chloroform another three to five times by soaking the filter paper surrounding the grids. Screen the completed holy carbon grids using a light microscope. The final product should look like this.